Boston Show is brought to you by Slow Coast Studios, Wichita's home for EPKs, live recording, podcasts, really any audiovisual stuff that you might need. Get with PK Pest Management for all of your pest control needs, 316-305-7108. For any termite inspections or anything under the sun, we'll take care of any problem that you have. Sacred Leaf is Wichita's favorite CBD store. They grow their own fields out in Colorado. They make a lot of their own products. Stop by, see Nikki, tell them Aaron and Austin sent you. Get with Jealous Kitchen. They are turning Mondays into Taco Tuesdays over there at the Shamrock Pop-Up. We love everything that Jealous is doing. It's like a Taco Tuesday pregame. They got fried tacos that they do all the time. With this really good, like, pineapple salsa. Pineapple, uh... It's pretty fire, like... Yeah, Yeah, dude, it's fire. Make sure you get out to Diaper Jam 2024 this year. We moved locations. We're not at Champs this year. We're moving over to Bourbon Street. We're going to have a great time. We're on 420 this year. So come out. We're going to have vendors. There's going to be food. We're going to have tons of bands. There'll be plenty of people announced coming up. Make sure that you come out to Diaper Jam. The Cowboy Inn is Wichita's favorite neighborhood bar for a great patio, great service, great vibe. Check out the Cowboy Inn just south of Central on St. Paul. We'd like to welcome a new official sponsor, Whiskey Dicks. They just signed on. It's a great bar. Me and Aaron love it. We love to get our old fashions there. They got happy hour from 3 to 6 every day. So make sure you get out and support Whiskey Dicks, a new official sponsor of the Aaron Austin Show. The Aaron Austin Show wants to give a huge shout out to Eddie at Wichita by EB. Go check out his podcast, the editorial. Check out all, all the stuff he's doing for food trucks. He releases a list of where the food trucks are going to be. He releases a list of where the bands are going to be playing. Just an amazing dude. Go support him. Find Wichita by EB. Support him however you can. Detox for 15 years. They have a great selection of CBD products, mushroom gummies, kratom, kava, and even legal THC. Uh, hit them up www.alloutdetox.com or give them a call 316 554 7459. Be all in with All Out Detox. Damn Jam 2024, the biggest lake party in Kansas. We have Brantley Gilbert, uh, Stone Temple Pilots, Demon Jones, Wheeler Walker Jr., Up Church, and Joe D. Messina. So it's going to be a killer lineup. More to come. A uh, bunch of locals popping up on that. There's a whole beach party stage. We haven't announced that at all. Yeah, and they, we've got just so much going on at that show. Make sure that you're going to be out there. It's July 19th and 20th this year out at Lake Afton. Get your tickets as early as you can. There's going to be more announcements, more people coming out. They're doing two stages this year. The Aaron and Austin show is going to be in the VIP section, podcasting live at the Lodge all weekend long. It's going to be a blast. There's going to be camping. There's going to be dad bod contests. There is going to be a car show. Shenanigans. Shenanigans, shenanigans, shenanigans. Right? Oh yes. Here we are back with Forge ICT and Peerless in today. So, what episode is this today? Uh this is this is a bonus episode. Oh, this bonus episode. Yeah, we oh, got we got bonuses. bonus episodes today. This is like we bonus. might we might rock this out on Monday and give it oh, a that'd be give, dope. Give that'd a be lot of I didn't tell any of that yet. <laughs> <laughs> but uh shout out real quick, shout out to uh uh, R&J's, uh, Whiskey Dicks, uh, and 42 Below, uh, new sponsors of ours. We appreciate them being official sponsors. We appreciate everything R&J's does. Um, Whiskey Dicks has got specials every damn day of the week. Get down there. And Cowboy Inn, we usually come in there on Tuesdays. Yeah, we'll be in there tonight. We'll be in yeah. there, and uh, so I, we, we'll check them out. R&J's has inspired us to start our bar. I don't know if you can see that past Austin there, but yeah, we're, 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 we're going to build it up. Sure. We're going to build it up. It's going to be awesome. Epic bar happening. Yeah. So shout out to all our good sponsors. We really appreciate it. But we really shout out to Kevin uh, Gillenwater for coming in again. We, we had uh, Forge come in. Uh, if anybody hasn't got down to Forge ICT, it's one of my favorite restaurants here in town. They got my favorite crab cakes going. Um, and they're right next door to Peerless as well. So we're going to get into everything going on at uh, Forge ICT and Peerless. So, Kevin, give us a, give us a shout out now and introduce everybody we got going on today. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for having us back, guys. We yeah, really appreciate it. You know, sorry we were trying to get down here sooner, but. You guys it got a you guys been, got a podcast anytime you want to come down busy, and bring, you know? anytime you want to come down and bring yeah. food and booze. We're, yeah. we're always, uh, we will kick whoever's on the podcast right out for food and booze. I mean, well, yeah, I'll, I'll come, I'll come, but just come eat some food. It's all right, you know. Uh, yeah, uh, we're here to promote uh, Forge ICT today because our new menu dropped today. Actually, nice. uh, yeah, it is Fat Tuesday. Hey, I didn't even realize that. Okay, cool. And uh, we're also, uh, you know. Our boss runs both businesses. Yep. So we have a lot of things changing over at Peerless. We're going to start doing live music again. Awesome. And we're going to be doing a live art. We're going to be doing a lot of things like trivia and bingo. And, uh, awesome. We need Peerless uh, back in the All different kinds of stuff. We need oh, yeah. Back in part of the yeah. It's game. just been, you know, kind of, you know, 
nothing happening there. And we had to close a couple times because of our licenses. Uh, they lapsed, and then we got them back. And then they lapsed again 28 days later. So we were shut down for a good couple months in there in the busy season. So people really still think of we're closed. But we are not closed. We are open. So come on in any time. Uh, to my left here is Bethany uh, White. She is one of the bartenders there. She also owns her own uh, staffing company called Lunar. Sweet. And she also, I'm tricking her into being the event coordinator for Peerless <laughs> and soon many more things as well. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> and then behind here is Kaylee. This is uh, the number one bartender, the bottom bitch, the number one stunner yeah. at Peerless. And uh, this is her boyfriend, Jared, who also works uh, for Meta C. Meta C. Meta Which they explained everything to me yesterday, and I'm still really confused about. <laughs> but it sounded cool. So he'll explain that here after a little bit. Yeah, we'll get to go along with that. Um, but yeah, we brought you guys some food today. Oh, this looks amazing. It this really is all is. new items off our menu. I can already tell, you know, you're a big fan of the crab cakes. Always, oh, yeah. always. Every time Cheers. he comes in, I'm like, cakes? wait, wait, don't go yes. anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I got some crab Cheers cakes for you. Yeah. It's <laughs> always great. Yeah. yeah. So this yeah. is uh, one of the, we kept some favorites. Even Furt today with that we saw, Furt the Fish, shout out to Furt. We saw yep. him in uh, um, RJ's. He's like, man. ICT, uh, four they got the crab got the crab yeah, we're about to, since we just dropped this menu, we're going to call back all of the foodies. Furt the Foodie, um, Jack Stacks, EB, you know, a lot of them around Wichita, invite them all in for one big shindig. Yeah. So they can go out and ride about a skin. Because uh, we kept a lot of the same fan favorites. Um, and we put a lot of the old ones on. Um, mainly, the biggest thing is we had to take off a lot of beef because they're... In America, they're uh, butchering 33% less cattle right now because really? farmers, farmers just can't. You guys kind of came in with a little bit of a steak heavy menu. Yeah, a it's, little bit. It's yeah. a chop house, but we had a lot of steak house stuff. But yeah. now the price of beef has skyrocketed. Wow. Well, and it was, you guys were selling more of like this kind of stuff more than you New were. American. The, yeah, you yeah. were doing mm-hmm. a little bit. I mean, when I was in there seeing it was kind of the crab cakes and kind of the. That cool sandwich that you had that I can never pronounce. The Pepito. Pepito. Yeah, yeah we, still have, we still have Pepito, still have crab cakes on there. They're all fan favorites. But, like, we had to cut back on some of the steaks. We don't have the filet anymore. We don't have the strip. That's because it costs too much. You and figure living to, in Kansas, we'd be immune to that. You yeah. Know what I mean, like, cows outnumber yeah. people three to one. Beef. So, I mean, it's, and we get really dinner? good beef here, but it's still, yeah. it still it's went so up. It's so expensive because yeah. farmers just killed off all their herds. They quit doing it. Huh. They can't afford the feed and all the oh, stuff wow. that's going on for right now. So... The price of beef is about uh, twice as high now. So I can't sell a steak for crazy. $60, $70. I'm not going to do that. Um, but we got some classics here. This is uh, the Krabby Patty with a C, not yeah. a K. Yeah, we have to. You know. So, so we've, all, we've all seen, we've all seen uh, SpongeBob. Yeah. So a Krabby Patty under the C is still a hamburger, isn't it? Or are they actually making crab patties, you think, down there? I mean, kind of it's got the hamburger hue. I mean, the guy guy that runs the I think they just call him Krabby Patties because he's Mr. Krabs. Yeah, that's that's kind of like, you know, like. uh, Otherwise, he's got a cannibal operation going on and it's weird. Yeah, Yeah, okay, so maybe maybe he is doing that. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Because I don't see any other fucking crabs walking around Bikini Bottom. Well, that'd be competition, wouldn't it? (laughs) Uh (laughs) I mean, now that I think about this shit, it's getting a little dark. Yeah, yeah, we should probably change gears. (laughs) But it's the Krabby Patty. It's all the same stuff that we have on it. Usual oil, the remoulade, Krabby Patty. It's a double one. Lettuce, tomato, onion. It's a killer sandwich. Amazing. Over here is some wings that we did. They're uh, uh, Frenched drumettes and they we toss them in a spicy uh sweet and spicy exo sauce and has cilantro lime aioli on the bottom they're killer nice. okay so uh, before you breeze past that this is kind of a new way of people pulling down the drumstick on a uh, explain yeah. why that's new explain that a little bit well Kevin. they're frenched is basically what that so how do, how do you go about doing that what what, are, what, what is the story behind because i've seen i'm seeing it a lot like i learned this in middle school you put your tongue in it <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, that's simple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, I thought you was really going somewhere with it. <laughs> There's two different ways because you can see how the nub is cut off on those. So you cut the nub off, the, the knuckle, and you just cut around where the beef, the, ma- the base is. It's mostly skin anyway it, by that point. Yeah. yeah. Or you can French it. When you have the knuckle on there, it's when you do it like with like uh, lamb chops, pork chops. Can't unsee it now, huh? No, it's, 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 a whole, it's a whole thing. Now. <laughs> it is. Just cut the meat off in between. Just French it. Nice. Yeah. Now you got to say it like that every time. Just now you're gonna be in the kitchen. I'm just Frenching it. it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. After dark. <laughs> yeah, but it's gonna be like nine o'clock in the morning. You mean I'm Frenching this? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. 
Uh, <laughs> What's the sauce? I, I probably walked over. Did you it's say sauce? A, a sweet, spicy XO sauce. So XO or, being like brandy ish. Yeah. Kinda. It's more like uh, like Asian style. Oh, XO. Sure. So you know? Oh, nice. Okay. I really don't know what the fuck that means, but I, yeah, XO. We just were like, let's call it XO. I just see <laughs> XO on a lot of brandies, <laughs> yeah. and I figured that was no, no, no. When you ever go like, um, he's got a name. I, some I shit. Like sometimes. you know, like uh, those places where you get all the Frenching. food and they cook <laughs> in front of you, Mongolian barbecue or whatever. Yeah, yeah. They have an XO sauce in there, and that's kind of what that is like. Oh, but bet. it's a little sticky. And then on the bottom is the cilantro lime aioli. It goes on to pepito, actually, too. It's killer. Oh, it smells amazing. Yeah. This over here is uh, classic French, old world, cassoulet. Nice. It's white beans, bacon, garlic, onions, shallots, tomatoes, kale, cream, butter. It's usually they bake but, it with like hair or not hair, like H-A-R-E, like yeah, rabbit. Yeah. Uh, That's how I prefer my kale. Maybe start with <laughs> rabbit next time. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it is hair. It's, it's a hair, you know? It's a hair. I mean, you're you a know? cook, so I know that's how your ingredients yeah. look. I think we you start know. with rabbit next time. I mean, we call it squab or we call it pigeon. Yeah, yeah. You know? Squab sounds better in yeah. that case. Yeah, but exactly. that squab is not hair, which <laughs> sounds like <laughs> human hair. It's hare. It's French. Yeah, yeah, especially with all the hair in this yeah. room. Shit. Don't try to church it up. <laughs> and this is uh, um, just, we're trying to do like some uh, lesser uh, expensive items, but still be. Comfort this, food from, yeah. yeah. This is uh, old school style meatloaf, bacon wrap meatloaf. Uh, you, and you speak my language. This mm-hmm. rat meatloaf is the weirdest recipe. It's uh, a recipe that uh, an old chef of mine, Bobby Lane from Chester's, he doesn't own anymore, but uh, he had this recipe from the 80s. All was. right, give us a breakdown by all of it. So let's get there's every single. There's some weird <laughs> stuff <laughs> in it. I mean, it's, you know how you have ke- uh, ketchup on meatloaf? Well, there's ketchup in it, there's milk <laughs> in it, there is. Oh, wow. uh, 36 eggs in it. There, That's a lot of eggs. Um, is oatmeal in it's it a instead of mm. panko or saltines or whatever. It's he oats, uses oats, oatmeal? Oats. I've used, well, I've I've used, br- I've oh used bread God. crumbs and Cheez-Its and yeah. crackers. I've used everything. Oh, the Cheez-Its sun. would be dope. Dude, yeah. Cheez-Its are yeah. dope, by the way. Yeah, uh, I would say another one actually better than Cheez-Its just on a side note. I've made a lot of meat. Purple like. Doritos? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I ain't going to lie to you. Any, yeah. any chip you want to bre- you want to use as bread crumbs works. But one that really breaks up well is fucking goldfish crackers. No. Well, yeah. that's the same thing as a cheese. It. Yeah, but, but cheese it's are a little harder. They're harder to fucking break up. Like yeah. a goldfish cracker breaks up easier. And it's yeah, easy they that do. They're flavor. all over my fucking house. <laughs> yeah. My kids just <laughs> fucking crushing them everywhere. So yeah, they do break up really easily. Ooh. There you go. There you go. Uh, then we also have. How's that? We also have greatness vodka, mm. uh, which is also in be, the meatloaf. Uh, <laughs> well, it could okay, be. Okay, yes. okay segue, There is segue. red wine reduction <laughs> in there. We know that is a two-day Greatest sauce that we reduction. Make. <laughs> Yeah, better. But uh, <laughs> the, drinks that, be the drinks that we have is um, Greatness Vodka will be um, uh, they, sponsoring the show that we have coming up up here. Great like, stuff. Great local vodka. It's so good. Yeah, yeah they, we, we've had... Uh, we had a couple people bring us in greatness vodka. We've had. Uh, What'd you talk about? Eb brought which, us. He in. bought us some, and so did uh, uh, Humble Greatness Studios. Oh, also yeah, brought Angelo. us some. Mm-hmm. Angelo brought us some as well. We. Yeah. So I've been trying to get the. Uh, what's the guy that owns Troy? Yes, yeah. I Troy. tried to get him to come in tonight. He yeah. had his kids. But, I know. Um, well, let's, let's put this. Yeah. I but I would you. love to introduce there you guys. He's go. awesome. Well, guy. I, well look, yeah, I, I, leave the booze by me, buddy. Well, the <laughs> thing is, what, I, what I want to do is, I would like to have him just come and do a full podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Really. So yeah. So I mean, he's got a lot to talk about. I'm sure. So. Really but I'll does. let her introduce all that stuff for yeah, what for we sure. have going for the show and everything like that. I mean, I don't have much to say. I haven't done anything. But I know you guys are eyeballing stuff, so go ahead and yes, dig in. Yes, please dig in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I will, go ahead I will and be your dinner time story. So so, so <laughs> what, what, what is the show, first off? We haven't touched on that yet. So the show is basically uh, the uh, For the Birds is going to headline the show, and then Nest Records has a couple guys that are going to perform uh, before they go on Epic. and so Troy is a friend of mine and so I was just trying to incorporate all the people that I know just to kind of get peerless kicked back off with mm-hmm. music and things like that so um, Troy's going to sponsor the show with his stuff and so we're trying to come up with some cool names for the drinks so we'll have a shot and a drink and Are we build um, the stage in peerless eventually say that again are we going to put a stage well in we had place? music we there should. before mm-hmm. and it's where the ping pong table is you know and they have a backdrop whatnot so the back there is you know your green room i guess uh, but <laughs> I, know, uh, I know a guy who has a stage i have a stage in my basement we i know a guy a who has a stage i have a stage Let's bring it all on right. down. I'm just saying. Like, I know a guy's trying to got a stage I, that we're, we're in that building. Is, where the fuck am I going to put it after I don't? Well, you jam it in your ass. You're a business owner. You'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just jam it on the side, put some wheels on it, and yeah, roll it away. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It'll be good. It'll be good. Um, but yeah, uh, 
Uh, the other bands on there are, uh, is it Mike Dino? Mike Dino. Mike, Mike Dino. And Benno. then uh, Kush Powers. I yeah. think they're going to nice. open. Oh, so that'll be a sweet show. Yeah, it'll be a great, great show. Yeah. It'll be awesome. And that's a $5 show, and that's on March 2nd um, March 2nd. this year. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and that's a Nest, that's Peerless. A Nest yeah. Record showcase, really, is what we're yeah. talking. Yeah. And we're going to open the doors at 7 o'clock. Usually we open at 5, but we're going to open at 7 o'clock. So you got a couple hours in there because the show starts at 9 o'clock. Cool. Got a couple hours to come in. We usually haven't. They haven't charged a cover ever before at Peerless. And, We're uh, doing five on this. You one. know, yeah. Start real low. You know. Well, just you guys are. To get I, I mean, not. you can easily get ten for four of the birds. But I, I appreciate you guys trying to get into the game. Oh yeah. Yeah, and 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 not get into the game on on without charging for the cover. You yeah. got to charge for talent in this town. You guys charge are, charge a cover, guys. It, yeah. it, 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 They're definitely worth the money. It, it, Especially for anybody the birds, that, anybody that travels, man. I mean, you're used to paying a ten dollar cover for any band, easily, whether you know them or not. That's when I go that out is in my standard home, operating I go procedure, out, man. I go oh, yeah. out, me and you go out in our own hometown in a spot that we've almost interviewed every band that we're going to see, and we can get in for free, and I still pay the goddamn still $10. Still pay the money. So it's, just pay the 10 support, bucks to get in there, shit. I, I, I'm tired of all my friends going, oh, I, I, I'd love to support you. Can you get me on the list? Yeah, fuck That's not yeah. how you fucking support yeah. me, man. Well, that's, that's not, not how this works. No, no. But also now, if it's a $150 backstage pass and you can get me in there, that's a whole different story. But a $10 fucking show, let me in. Well, that fucking pay your $10. It doesn't cost Anything to share their content and right? like yeah. their pages and That's things like that. Comment that too. Is Comment's the, the big one. Comment. That helps everyone. a lot. Please comment. No. So. Yeah, we also are doing a lot of other stuff with it. We're gonna have live art there. Uh, local artist, uh, friend of mine, Aaron England. He's gonna be doing a lot of live art there. Uh, cool. Probably have a little bit of an art show of his as well. We're gonna have Greatness Vodka there, and they're gonna be giving stuff away left and right. Uh, we are gonna also gonna be giving stuff away uh, as Forge and Peerless. We have a lot of gift certificates and things like that, door really prizes, cool. free swag. Also, the um, For the Birds is also wanting to give away free stuff. They'll yeah. have their own merch booth. And they got a brand new uh, EP you can buy, too. Yeah, it so just came out. It's really only available at the show, so you're going to have yeah. to go to the show. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But for sure. they wanted to give stuff Bring away as monies. well, so there'll be a lot of free shit there to get, you know. Uh, a lot of uh, things that will be included with it, you know, a lot of sponsors. Uh, you know, show will go till midnight. And then, you know, we'll break it all down. Then you can have your regular regular Pillars Cloud in there, you know. Yeah. You know, so. And there's going to be specialty cocktails. Tell us about this uh, yeah. yummy so thing. It's going to have damn near drink all it over. It is yeah. fucking it's delicious. So I'm trying not to chug it. <laughs> it's so good. It's so simple. My favorite thing about that is it doesn't taste like it's artificial. Yeah. It's so smooth. Yeah. Um, and it's what kids would drink if kids were drinking. It's Kool-Aid. Yeah. I, would definitely market this. I would definitely market this to kids. Yeah, you should. They would love it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no. he came in. Troy came so we'll in clip like that. to start. And he, brought, he, brought <laughs> this, edit, edit. he brought this greatness vodka, mm-hmm. and I had never tried it or whatnot. And uh, I wasn't even there. And uh, uh, my sous chef was like, "Yeah, he uh, brought you. Uh, he just poured a couple of cups out there for you to try out." And I was like, "Ah, I had a rough night last night. I'm not going to do Both it today." Cups. And then so the next day I came around. They're like, "He was like, did you try that vodka?" I was like, "What vodka?" Uh, oh, the vodka you guys all drank? Yeah, it's already gone. So, it, like, evidently, it was good. But it, it well, came back around, and it is. Actually. This is the that, cherry peach, right? That cherry, cherry peach, peach by itself yeah, is yeah. fucking legit. It's that stuff's really legit. You can literally yeah. take warm, like, Luke, and I've done this, so I ain't saying some shit yeah. that I ain't done. I've taken lukewarm shots of that by itself, and it's legit. <laughs> it is good. <laughs> yeah. It really is. It is. It's good. It's bad. Yeah. I don't, I don't Troy, mind it at Troy, all. Troy got a good good one on this one, man. Like, so this is the we'll one that we keep seeing. But, yeah, so that's the one we're going to use for both the drinks. We'll have a drink. And we'll have a shot. And we're looking for a name for this? Yeah. So the shot's going to be the bird shot. The drink, we haven't decided yet. The full mm. shot. Kaylee likes the sexy bird. The bird's nest, not bad. The bird's nest. Bird's I nest. don't hate that. Okay. I that am. was Annie's pick. As she said that I cannot take credit for that. Oh. That's okay. I mean, she said that in my we can ears. roll with it if we want. I asked my chat GPT to help me come up with some names today, and go. I got about 50 options. So. Will any of them hit? <laughs> um, You'll find one. Uh, what is the hey, can we have more of this? Or the put, two cans? Yeah. Uh, you can, put, yeah. Put it out on the social media. Get the get the uh, Let's people's response. Let's do a poll. Yeah. Yeah. Put, put yes. the people's response. Let's do a poll. Yeah, yeah. Do a little poll. Like hey, uh, if, if you really are yeah. that passionate, send, send, yeah. send a text the, message, send the, an email. The, the, the top one gets into the show for free. 100%. And they get free swag from the shop girls. That's what we'll do. 
We yeah, need we're, we're just making promotional. Uh, we're doing promotional magic. All, all. all we're just gonna, yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make it happen. And it's all, all about the people. Swag bag and a free entry. Swag somewhere. bag. Now we're getting swag bags. Swag, swag bags, bags yeah. gift mm-hmm. cards. We're gonna, we're gonna blow it up. Everybody yeah. loves swag bags. We love keep adding stuff to it every day. It seems like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. More, 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 more stuff. It's gonna be fun. Like everybody gets a live bird. Exactly. You just go to Apple get yourself a little Awesome. Put it on the list. It's like this real fucking tiny cage, and you're like, fuck. Now I gotta go get a cage. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta find finch food. I don't yeah, even know what finches eat. <laughs> Squab, Ask man. Squab. <laughs> I don't even know what finches eat. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's we do good need stuff. some more of this, though. Yeah, for sure. Okay. And I'm finna try one of these drumsticks. I can't wait to have one. Yeah, yeah, they're yes, take pretty it. dang good. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'll mix it up. Okay. Mm-hmm. We're ready. So, uh, so what's Forge's yeah. normal operating hours? So anybody wants to get into Forge and get something, you guys got to do in the happy hour too, even right now, aren't you? Yeah, we're still rolling happy hour. Um, it runs two thirty to yeah. five thirty. What can every, we get during happy hour? What's every on? day of the week, all How appetizers are eight <laughs> bucks. No, ten bucks. All apps are eight are ten bucks. All drinks, Here, all glasses of wine are eight bucks, and all co- especially cocktails are eight bucks. Drafts are four, but. Uh, Usually it's about it's about a forty to fifty percent discount pretty much during the time. Yeah, you guys now, do, on Monday. Don't you guys do appetizers? Did you do say you do appetizers off too? Because I know yeah, yeah, crab abs- cakes are like ten bucks during that time. Fifteen is what we sell them for, but they're ten. Yeah, yeah so that's yeah. when you get in there. That's when you sneak in there and get them crab cakes yeah. for ten dollars. That's it's what also I do all day Monday. We do that. It's happy hour all day. Oh, so all day. Happy all day sorry. on Monday. It's sorry if I keep kicking. No, you're, you're fine. fine. We sharing this, but we just gonna have to kick each other. <laughs> it's That's basically customer it. appreciation day. You know, uh, we kind of started it as a, like a um, and hospitality. Industry and Monday's always kind of a slow day. Hit me with some of that. But, uh, you know, people were like, well, what about, uh, you know, hospital workers, this and that, yada, yada. But I'm like, well, let's just make it customer appreciation, you know. Me one more. That's more what it's all about. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got to do stuff on Mondays and Tuesdays anyway because ain't nobody fucking goes anywhere oh, yeah. on them days. You know, and we're... It's, Get him it's, out of the house. Mm-hmm. It, we're coming out of that hump right now. Uh, the service industry is really always really low for January and part of February. Once Valentine's Day hit, it just explodes. Yeah, it does. It does kind of go back. Yeah. I mean, well, because well, if Valentine's Day comes in, so everybody's got to go out. Then everybody gets their money from taxes, and everybody, and we're all willing to have a little meals here exactly. and there. I mean, everybody's sucking tit and drying for now because of Christmas and all that shit. You know how it is. Yeah. And my business is, and I get it too, because my business is slow as a motherfucker at this time. We're actually completely booked for tomorrow. Actually, good. Too. So it's, good, good, good. It's looking got Bubby White on up there. a lot. Yeah, so, 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 so what are you guys doing for, <laughs> so everybody who's not lonely and sad tomorrow, <laughs> they're having a Valentine's Day thing. What's going on? This will be out after that, but well, you can still talk about it. nothing really, because uh, we just dropped the menu today, and it's a ton of new stuff. So we were going to do some stuff, and by the time it came around, we were fully booked. We are like, well, fuck it. Why? <laughs> Do any kind of special thing. We have the brand new menu out. So you're just doing the new menu for Valentine's yeah. Day tomorrow. Yeah, yeah that's enough. We have, we have a lot of other specialty drinks and whatnot. And the new specialty drink uh, menu. We have champagne. We have all different kinds of stuff. Oh, nice. So so you're bougieing it up a bit. Oh, yeah. Always, I'm not always. A sh- are you guys champagne champagners? I hate champagne. You hate Love champagne? Them. I mean, I'll get, if, if it's like Gives New Year's or something, I'll drink it. it oh I don't hate it. God. But I ain't ordering that I'm shit. I'm old. I don't sit down and go, man, I would love some champagne today. I don't really care for the bubbly stuff. Bubbly. Anyway. Yeah. But if somebody's handing me some champagne, I ain't, it's not like it's going to fucking kill I'll me. Smell <laughs> <laughs> I'll smell it. I'll smell it. I'll smell it. My mouth smells. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What'd you get some of? Hmm? What'd you start with? All right, let's let's hear what your thoughts are on the on the food. Like, what are the flavors that you're tasting? The potatoes are dope, and I love the gravy. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying this bad boy. I'm gonna get my yeah. face on. And this. I like that you just you get on the potatoes get in too. Yeah, get in. Yeah, if you guys are hungry, absolutely. Good, come on. Mm-hmm. And and if you want to run up here, um, Annie, and come grab a come grab a fucking oh yes, Annie. come grab a what do you call these? Another drink. They're uh, chicken so lollipops. They're lollipop chicken wings. Lollipop chicken wings, but what would you call it? Frenched? It's <laughs> <laughs> in time for Valentine's Day. Yeah. yeah. Exo sauce. That's fine. Yeah, please. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Do the you potatoes, like boys, don't you? Come get your French lollipop wings. <laughs> the French lollipop. Uh, just as easy. <laughs> Everyone just turned French. Yeah. <laughs> Is there like a horseradish thing in those potatoes? Turn off the light. And light a candle. You know, like <laughs> there's like a horseradish <laughs> kind of a vibe. No, on. no. There's no horseradish. It's garlic. It's like, oh, garlic. There you go. Yeah, roasted garlic. Yeah. There was like a little spicy thing I was trying mm-hmm. to catch. 
However, my sous chef cannot not put spicy things in fucking everything. I like him. So, I like him already. <laughs> yeah, everything. Spring your tongue. So he might have just been my like, kind of guy. Yeah. oops. <laughs> no, no. There she is. She needs another beverage. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm all right with spicy shit, mm-hmm. but, but but like the older you get, is man, it fucks with you hard. Uh, you give me, yeah. I'm talking about like here, ulcer, like here, yeah. Throat, oh yeah, cut, all and that's that. why I can't do the champagne. Everything gives me heartburn. Yeah, I mean, I have to take the purple pill once a day, and the, the or <laughs> fuck, or I'll be fucked. It's a real deal. Bro, I'm really at 40 is. milligrams a day. I'm I'm good. <laughs> But I used to I used to just eat that hot shit, give me them hot tacos, whatever, be just mm-hmm. fine. Wake up tomorrow, have a bad dump, one bad dump, and you passed it. Mm-hmm. But now as you're older, I, the bad dump ain't even the problem. It's the heartburn that you got for three weeks for yeah. having some of that hot shit. Mm-hmm. Yes, girl, get in here. Yeah, get her, get her a little bit of everything. She's I'm working her ass off down there. Yes, have her sit down. She can talk about the Luna Girls. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, g- yeah, give us, give us, because you're the you're the main bar- you're the head bartender at uh, Peerless, correct? I am the lead Lunar Girl at Peerless. Yes. Oh, the lead what's lunar. lunar. What's a Lunar? The lead Lunar Lady. Lead Lunar Lady. I love that. Mm. We need to get her a little crab, little crabby patty. Oh yeah, cut that baby up. Do you have a knife, Kev? Like a pizza. Like a pizza. Is this yours, Kev? That is for Annie. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yes. Really good. Yes. Yes, thank you. Can you give this to Annie? Okay. Wonderful, thank you. Yeah, give mm. us some because you guys' camera's on, our camera ain't on. Oh. This is fun. Can you drink this? He gave me a Tuscan soup that was really good the other day, too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin, yeah, well, I, know what, I do pest control for I do pest control for both businesses. So every time I go, every once in a while when I go in there, he, le- he gives me a little lunch when I leave. Gives you a little tasty treat. Yeah. Yeah, Ke- Kevin's yeah. great. Everything's Kevin's great. been good so far. Mm-hmm. Kevin's a hell of a cook. Oh, I mean, just uh, I don't care. You you guys can go through a hundred motherfuckers. You let Kevin keep running that kitchen and forge ICT be just fine. Well, well. Oh yes. Sir. Oh, what we need? Oh, she got a mix. Here, I'll on. go over there. A lunar lady. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, come on. Yes, please. Holy crap, we got a double Krabby Patty? Yeah, this one's a double one. Oh, double Krabby Patty. Yeah, this one's a double one. Yep. Yeah, let's get roll. in on that. Thank you, sir. No problem, man. So introduce, introduce yourself. You guys are a little behind the, a little behind the camera, so. Yes. Take some camera time right now. Well, I mean, Aaron, stuff our faces. <laughs> My name's Kaylee. I'm the lead lunar girl. So basically, um, I work for Bethany. And um, we help out while they're trying to find quality staffing at um, Peerless. And we we come in and we're, you know, helping. Oh, so you guys are uh, outside staff? Yes. Oh, way cool. Yeah. And we've actually, it's been so much fun. We've met so many entrepreneurs in Wichita. I didn't realize it's Full just of like, them. it's yeah. It's amazing. A lot of good people, too, actually. Yes. Yeah. So it's a lot like, of straight shooters and people that are honest, which is nice. Uh, yeah, I agree. So it's been really fun. Um, it's like making new friends every day that I work. I'm a baby bartender, so I was lucky enough they took a chance on me. What well, does that mean you were new to it? It means she yes. serves babies alcohol. Oh. <laughs> Back to this. This is, this is the all-ages alcohol show. <laughs> Well, we're getting in trouble for this one. Well, we, we still s- get flagged we and pulled. Uh, we'll get canceled. Everybody so, gets canceled. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you haven't made it if you haven't. I feel like you, like you got to push the envelope every once in a while. Serve those babies booze. <laughs> <laughs> Not asleep somehow. You heard it here first, guys. Yeah. Dude, that's the sad thing. He used to do that shit. But anyway. So, yeah. So, um, Man, it's been a, a blast. And we're really looking forward to the live show. So, uh, after we do this show, we're, we're going to just keep rolling as a venue kind of there. Right? Correct? You yeah. want to keep doing the same thing over and over again? Yes, exactly. That's awesome. I love any time a new business a business owner wants to come into the fray of giving people somewhere to play. So, yeah. so is this like new management over there? Is it or just a new push or a new like, change? Yeah, yes. you're managing. Yeah. Oh, Kevin's managing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Kevin is literally running the both sides. Yes. Well, he, he took watch, the watch charger. He right like there. lives he and sleeps there. He does. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin well. works fucking hard there. Yes. Yes, he does. <laughs> Yeah, and what's really cool, um, Jared will tell you more about the Medici because I think Kevin still doesn't quite <laughs> understand it. I think he's very tired, bless his heart. Um, yeah. yeah. So uh, we started a company here in Wichita, uh, veteran-owned company with me and my brother. Uh, we take VR headsets and give you a 360 
degree camera in there and it makes it to where it's all immersive like you're actually there oh wow so like a virtual reality exactly, kind of experience exactly. so uh we went and we uh we filmed some things that we just put on youtube we can you can check us out on facebook on medici inc their last and, show actually yeah actually for the for the birds we went ahead and uh filmed that for them oh way cool yeah so uh what we got is uh we're in the finish, finishing stages of our app and you can go and go on there purchase tickets at a discounted rate and then we'll eventually we're trying to have like a camera like a virtual camera. shows it, yes like and no we're going to live stream them but we'll like have a camera on the side stage we'll have a camera up in the front row whatever and you can go and purchase these different uh <laughs> Fuck yeah, we should. Different tickets where it, when you actually have a vr headset on it feels like you are there it's crazy oh, that's awesome. so it's uh yeah. we need to neat. talk definitely, <laughs> yeah. definitely. It's, we need uh, to talk we got some of that same shit trying to go downstairs that would be nice to I mean, it's uh, definitely. I will do the tour. We'll. Yeah. But uh, we got some. Uh, we have some of the footage up on YouTube. You can check it out on Medici and. Uh, Give us what's the page. what's that credential? Say it, Medici. Medici. It's like uh, M E T A S E A T. Okay. Uh, just like uh, Metaverse. And uh, we're going. We're It'll be linked in the description of this podcast too. We'll put definitely, it in there for definitely. You. And uh, we promoting the for the birds. We're going to go ahead and try to uh, film the uh, the upcoming show on second. Or on the second, but uh, the camera's pretty neat. It's, it's an 11K camera, has six different uh, actual lenses, goes around 360 degrees. You can go and fully immersive. You can turn around 100 or 180 and look at people behind huh. you, just like you're actually sitting there. That's in wild. The seat. Okay, so what are you, what are you guys talking about as far as discounts between the difference of buying that ticket as a meta seat or buying a ticket in the building? What kind of discounts is? What's the difference? Right now, honestly, we're looking at trying to make it affordable for everybody. Because, I mean, nobody really has the money nowadays to try to afford. Not everybody can get to the venue. Not everybody can get to the venue, man. And 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 tickets lately are just crazy, man. Glenn Miller Orchestra is coming to Orpheum for like 120. Mm I mean, it's you like, go to yeah. Yeah. Some, shit's a, some shit's a little overpriced. And there's some that artists, like, are doing only shit. European tours right now. That's and true. as much as I'd love to yeah, follow I, them in I Germany. I would still like to catch a show. Yeah. Literally. Yeah, yeah I'd yes. still like to catch a show. That's a beautiful idea you got, sir. I mean, mm-hmm. and it's not stopping just at concerts. We're looking at sporting events like mm-hmm. Arrowhead. Podcast. We've, we've been yeah, but we can still watch that on TV. How are you going to break through that market? Oh, yeah, but you go and you can't actually. If you can go and you feel like you're there. Yeah, but your cameras can't beat the shit they got on regular TV. Uh, How many times? How many times do you get to We're going to have to bring it. I would love to see it. I I would would love to see it. I would love to see it. I would love to see it. What's that? Front row at at Arrowhead, you can't really beat that. Especially if they're trying to go over in Europe and take take the Arrowhead. You could do a lot of fun there. There's a lot of opportunities here. Definitely. A lot of opportunities here. I mean, when you can even compete with. Of NFL, then you have a lot of opportunities in a lot of other places. You know oh, what I mean? exactly, exactly. And so we have a we have a lot of stuff going on right now. We're just trying to go and promote local Wichita businesses and promote Wichita uh, artists and trying to well, make I the most of it. I think it's a great idea. So if you met a seat, is what you can do is get a seat and watch it virtually. Yeah. Uh, can, are you doing it? Are you doing only VR? Or can we watch it? Just can we also just watch it on our laptop if we want? You can watch it on your laptop. You can stream it to your from your phone to your TV. Anything it. It doesn't beat the experience on the VR headset, but eventually we'd like to have my our son, own. My son's got that VR headset. They're, no. they're crazy. I've only lost three TVs to that motherfucker. <laughs> three, Did no, you run right into it? I've lost three TVs and like eight remotes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you're doing good then. <laughs> you so, have lost a stove or microwave. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, have you seen those videos where they put the, put it on and it's so real? that A stove and microwave is cheaper than a fucking right television. <laughs> so, I wish I was losing microwaves. <laughs> so, so, so is the uh, is the technology of like your headset, is that proprietary with your content? Like you go out and make certain content for that Right now, that it's, technology? it's compatible with any Oculus or Metaverse. Okay. Um, we're trying to get some partnerships with some other outside people that have some, uh, some, some third headsets. party, some third party. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They have some headsets that are more. Well, you should. You like always should. Glasses even looking. Well, I mean, because Apple's starting to do it, and yeah, then you, I mean, exactly. you, you really yeah. want to, you really want to be, you know, across all platforms. Of course, whenever you can do whatever you can do. Apple's going to monopolize with this is, everything. Especially as cool of an idea as this. I mean, this is an amazing fucking idea. Yes. Yeah, so. I mean, if you want to, like, so. Have we, have you guys discussed like say I wanted to watch Usher's halftime performance from the fucking front row? Exactly. Could I have bought that Meta seat? Yeah, absolutely. See, oh, wow. that's fucking cool as fuck. Yeah, absolutely. So front row Bowl, and from the side. Yeah, Super See, Bowl that's tickets, badass. Everything. That's eventually what we're working for. We have uh, some contacts in with uh, the NFL. One of our uh, investors or whatever. He was an executive producer for NFL Films for 20 years. Uh, he used to record rock concerts for 
Bon Jovi, Michael Jackson, wow. uh, anybody's everybody. So you got so some ins. You know some, we, you know we some got people. Some people in our in our corner that we're trying to uh, definitely make some stuff happen. But uh, definitely, uh, it's it's kept up and coming. It's moving fast. <laughs> yeah, that's that's no. awesome, man. That's but, really uh, that's really sounds like a cool. We want to make it affordable for everybody. Yeah, that's nobody right. has so, three thousand dollars to drop. Well, like shit, like Apple, Apple yeah, I headset. Thousand. Like for two tickets to the Super Bowl and shit, t- tickets worth like <laughs> fucking to 20, 10, 20 grand. You know exactly. Know if you can shoot, do that for a few hundred dollars, shoot. You say, yeah. Um, so yeah. what would it be like? So if I can get like a good seat at the Super Bowl, you give me tickets. I get tickets for like two fifty. Eventually, we'd love to. Do. I'm not gonna be I cheap. Mean, that would that. be awesome. Because I know y'all finna go up after that. Because that's gonna be too cool. Right. Y'all gonna be the, you gonna be like turning and looking, and everybody's <laughs> gonna be in a VR headset going like this. <laughs> hey, eventually, eventually, but we just we want to make it affordable for the average everyday hardworking person. Right. Right. And everyone wins. Like, exactly. I mean, meta seat's cool. Yeah, wins. there's more people that would go that wouldn't go. The We're gonna be wins. meta seat tailgating at some point. Yeah. Like, exactly. I mean, yeah. And then some of us introverts yeah. like we. I, yeah. I don't like going out and being have everybody sweating all over me arm to arm all the time. Man, it, it, some, like, for some people, no it is. An, sit down. Some people, yeah. it's really fucking intense, man, to go right. to a place where there's seventy fucking thousand. Especially people. since COVID, it's yeah. so crazy. Yeah, yeah, there's so many people who. But how cool would it be to like virtual point. tailgate with your buddy outside of a thing and having a drink while y'all both awesome. in your own town? Yeah, and if you <laughs> live that'd be kind of cool, states, man. <laughs> there's a lot of opportunity there. You walk into the shit together, and now we're sitting in a meta seat together. That's fucking cool, man. And nobody can drink all your beer. <laughs> yeah, it's all yours. Yeah, for sure. yours, man. You can't blame anybody for it either. Yeah. yeah, that is that's pretty fucking cool. Also, like yeah. Make a Wish Foundation. That would be great. Oh yeah. I think yeah. you're ahead of the curve on that, man. Yeah. yeah we're Keep pushing. It's definitely, very exciting. Definitely. All gas, no brakes. Yeah, 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 dude. Eventually, somebody's gonna swoop in and try to buy your fucking idea. That's what's gonna happen. I mean, if they do, sell it high. Sell, sell it high. high. Give me that. Give me that B. Right. Give me that B right. in there, and I'll take this. You can have this, motherfucker. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do something big here, and then definitely. Remember Wichita, definitely for sure. For yeah, sure. that's cool. So. so how can we we uh, we just use it's metaseat.com that simple? Uh, metaseat.info. Dot info. Yep. Okay. You have everything right there. You have our Instagram post or our Instagram page, Facebook page. Uh, you can find us at metaseat. Oh yes. Um, nobody else around it has any name like it, so you'll find us. That's um, pretty simple. Yeah, pretty simple. No, it's and you, simple. A pretty catchy little name too when you figure out. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's Metasy. What it's pretty, it is. It's, yeah. pretty, it's pretty badass. I mean, just a couple simple grunts going trying to trying to make ends meet. Hey, well, hey, well I'm, ro- I'm rooting for you, brother. Oh, appreciate Sounds it, like man. a fucking cool ass concept. I mean, definitely. Are we pouring shots? Oh yeah, shots. Come on up if you want to, Andy. Kick it. You can so kick it on them. Just, just kick it on them. We polish the bottle. <gasps> oh That's, yeah. That is a that is a Aaron and Austin show. That, that, you didn't do nothing too crazy. <laughs> That's a tradition. Here, <laughs> That's all I'm wrong. saying. All I'm right, saying it's, pretty, you, you're, it's par for the course. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> okay. fair, fair enough. Fair enough. All right, we're gonna get a taste. The peach cherry. So, so, um, come on back in here, Kevin. Yeah. Yes, so, Kevin. so we're uh, so the the new plan is, which I really like, is bringing in. Uh, because most of you don't know, we haven't even said it yet, but most of you should know that Forge and Peerless are right next to each other. Those places are right next yeah. to each other. So you, you guys could even get to where you guys do like a, a dinner and concert type thing. I mean, you guys could do a lot of fucking shit with Dinner that. and a show. Dinner oh, yeah. and a show. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. We actually forgot, I forgot to mention, we do have food at Peerless now too. Oh, nice. So we have a whole menu over there. So are, how are, are, what, are, you, are you guys providing that? Okay, give us the yeah, rundown. through Forge. Pull, pull through Forge, that, that's what I wanted. Pull that over. What, give us a rundown on what's going down with the food, yeah, food over at Peerless. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's um, uh, you just order at the bar, you know. Uh, up until um, we haven't really fi- figured out a time yet, you know. When does when does Forge close? Nine or ten, Nine or you 10. know. But um, so I can't get crab cakes at Peerless at eleven thirty. Probably can't because I'm still there, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I'm like, really? Okay. 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 If I slip him yeah. a twenty, maybe I can. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe fifty. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, Make it worth his while. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, you know, the, the sous chef lives up top, like Bob's Burger style, too. So, oh, like, there's, a, I forgot there is apartments above yeah, that place. Like, wake up, bitch. So we go knock on his door, yeah. fire up the grill, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, but yeah, we do have like 10 different items on over there at Peerless. Nice. You just ring it in. We cook it at Forge. We bring it on over, you know. But yeah. also, if you wanted to order food from the Forge menu or whatever, you can always do that, too. Nice. You know. Yeah, so what, cool. time, what, what time does Peer, uh, does, um, for, uh, Peerless open during the day, five o'clock yeah, Tuesday five? through uh, Saturday, and then Sunday. So from Monday, like five to ten, eight. you can get some food over at Peerless. Yeah, That's not bad. Sunday we won't be doing it though because we're closed. Forge is closed on Sunday. Oh, oh yeah, Forge is closed on Sunday. So it's really Monday through Saturday. Nice, you know. He's so, 
Yeah, you got yeah, that's shit the only yeah, time I sleep. You got to get a break sometimes. You know? Well, I have the kids, too, so I'm not really sleeping that much either. So. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's the sad thing. Sometimes you get more rest at work when you got kids. Yeah, yeah. How exactly. Kids exactly. <laughs> sleep is for uh, kids and old people, man. We don't really get that I know. much. Hey, right. I, 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 I mean, kids are hard and all the things, but I ain't going to lie. My kid, luckily, about my kids is older, they get they still take naps, and I'm really oh, grateful God, for them. man, you were lucky, you lucky, man. <laughs> oh, man. I don't let my kids t- uh, take naps. Otherwise, uh, you should. I love them. My kid don't even sleep know. at night, man. He wake up in the middle of the night. That's and why. Like, they won't uh, sleep at night. If see, my sleep during the na- day. Yeah, well, you, 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 know? you can't let them overnap. The overnapping yeah. is the problem. Oh. But what if you mm-hmm. overnap? Like, well, that's, that tends to be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking about me right well, now. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. why are you bringing up old no. shit, Kev? <laughs> Austin likes to pass out at like 8 o'clock at well, night. And then and wake, wake up, up at like two, three and yeah, four two, in the morning. Three in the morning. I've noticed. Yeah, like, that'll shit. happen. We're Facebook friends. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. Well, and, and, and what's fun is always the industry people are getting off work at that time. Yeah. And we we love you guys. You guys work hard, but you guys ain't never home till like four in the morning. That's true. <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true. Very true. So you know, uh, there, there needs to be some after hours speakeasy for industry folk. Exactly. But like, oh, that would be yeah, badass. That'd, that'd be dope. That would be super we'll badass. Start them drinking later so they don't wake up and get their second wind. Yeah. yeah. Right. right? But I would say after our speakeasy that no one talk. Okay, we can't put it out there too much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> say less. Like yeah. really, say less. Uh, we take <laughs> a shout out to humble. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. To yeah. greatness. Yep. And, and a shout out to humble to greatness. greatness. Shout out to, Rick Brooks. to humble greatness and humble vodka. Thank you. Yeah. To the peerless greatness, <laughs> George. To the peerless greatness and lunar. And lunar, and medicine. yes. And medicine. We covered a lot of ground this episode. Yeah. We did. Maybe we some segways and full episodes. Yeah. Yeah, so after for, after for the birds, what's next for Peerless? Do you got anything on the? Uh, do you guys need help booking shows? Well, are you guys I'd wanting, love for. I tell you right now, guy, help booking shows. Yeah, yeah. I do it. I do it. Any bands to come forward and let me know and talk to me. You know, I used to book bands for Crown Up Town for four or five years oh, there. Oh, that. So I'm pretty versed in everything that needs to know about production companies. I worked with oh, yeah. you know Nameless and Bad Bean and a lot of other production companies there, and uh, had to do. That sauce is legit. Create our own production company. Um, well, uh, I didn't even know, but you guys have, you know, that next band coming up next. I'm going to try and catch them on the way out the door. I'm like, hey, Jake. Oh, I was, uh, they're done. They're supposedly they're well, done. I hear there's something new on the horizon. No, so, oh, there's yeah. always something new. We're always the breaking new shit down. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Like, reunion? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know something's going on. Musicians don't hey. ever stop musicianing. Uh, 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 a a band like, that good should do a reunion show like once a year, right? Yeah. I mean, that's kind of... And I mean, I went to high school with them, so I could oh, yeah, twist yeah, their yeah, yeah, So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, never know. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I can't really have any big name bands too much. Uh, I did talk to the Vehicles the other day. You know, they came in and ate at Forge, and they were like, yeah, absolutely. So, that, that. Um, you know... Uh, I know a lot of the other bands here in town. I just haven't really jumped on it as much. Right. When this uh, for the birds is kind of like the segue into creating a and calendar. making it starting to happen. Yeah, you know, uh, we'll also start hiring comedians as well. We'll probably do an open jam night. You know, um, uh, a lot of just solo artists, things like that. Stuff that's not even going to cost a cover. You know, where it's just right. going to be something you, know, you can cover out of bar sales. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know, or I can. And you give me people a stage. Yeah. I mean, that's what we're trying to do. Exactly. Here. Too. Yeah, well, you exactly. charge when the ones that are worth charging for, for sure. But and anybody who's willing to step up, and I'm glad that you said what you said with uh, stand-up comedy, uh, Borges, shout out to them for stepping up. I mean, stand-up comedy yeah. right now doesn't really have a spot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Looney so, been shut down. So, yeah. so any, anybody who's willing to give uh, a bunch of fucking degenerates a time to talk <laughs> shit, uh, and, and it's really hard. And I'm not going to lie to you, why people are learning comedy, open mics, and new comedians, it's fucking cringe and it's rough. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you, don't, you don't sell a lot of tickets, and not a lot of people come see it unless they're big, huge comedy fans, and it's tough. So I always commend any um, any venue that's willing to ride out those times because the only way you get good comedians is letting those people get up on stage. Yeah, the you gotta have like kind of a um, an, a, an, <laughs> uh, like an incentive, and yeah. some some of those things. You know, it's, it's not like Doug Benson getting up there or anything like that. So you, you gotta offer something for them to come. You yeah. know, swag, door prizes, swag bag. You know, mm-hmm. a joint, I mean, it's tough because I mean, it's not a big sell for <laughs> comedy. That's why I mean, unfortunately, the Looney Bin yeah went under. But it's a great it's a great medium. But it's just a slow crawl. I mean, Looney Bin was open forever and ever. They just chose change location. Their yeah. problem was they changed open. locations. I saw Rogan at the old location. Yeah, I, the I'll problem was they, the problem is they changed locations. They should have stayed out there twenty first and Woodlawn. That I was like the cool rent spot. was cheaper, but yeah. everything was. In, they had backstage. They used to have a place there. It was called um, 
Killer Bee's Pizza, and they delivered till three in the morning. Oh, My really? God, it was awesome! Yeah, like they delivered pizza through the comedy club. No, they they, <laughs> they like, made pizza in there oh, and they deliver it around the area. It was at oh, uh, okay. Looney Bin backstage. Yeah, you I always would love a pizza place if you live by it. and They deliver pizza till three. I know. Oh yeah, dude. especially it's like, in this area of the country, that's where legit. You can't get food after ten. Yeah, yeah. it's like Pizza <laughs> Shuttle in Lawrence. Yeah. Oh, pizza, awesome. pizza Shuttle forever. Yeah. Pizza yeah. Shuttle forever in Lawrence, dude. Yeah. Forever. Shout out to Pizza Shuttle in Lawrence. Fuck COVID. <laughs> yeah. Ruined it for everybody. It, it really, really did. did. It shut a lot of cool shit down, and in, and like you'd be sometimes you go like, oh, I should have get shut down and bring well, back. COVID was like, no, nah, we ain't bringing that back. And, and, <laughs> and it made a lot of like, uh, it made a lot of people scared to go out and it to did. enjoy themselves and have it fun. Did. It did. It like, did. Mm-hmm. It and, still does. Them motherfuckers, yeah. you still see them out walking around with masks on and shit. Oh yeah, bro. <laughs> Got people jamming vaccines in their ass every year, yeah. hoping yeah. that it works for them. Booster. Yeah, fuck yeah, let's get a booster. <laughs> hey, but we appreciate everything that the Forge does. Make sure you check out the Forge ICT. It's a great restaurant here in town. Uh, Aaron and Austin show approved for sure. Uh, make sure you get over to Peerless. I'm glad they're starting to join the venue thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, is there anything you guys want to end on? Anything you want to get in before the end of this? Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, if any of you want to, uh, you know, come and talk to me or Bethany or whatnot about either doing shows, comedy, open jam, live art, uh, bringing your art and doing an art show, uh, any kind of any other events or things or what not you want to do or what not uh we can also rent it out as an event venue anything like that uh, private yeah. events we had a guy get married in there the other day right? we've had actually three weddings in the past are you doing them in forge or are you doing them in peerless in peerless dude yeah. i w- we're, we are Let's we go, are not well. ashamed of a dollar at any place that i've ever That's been right, man. if you want to get married at the aaron and austin show studios we will let you get married <laughs> let's go let's go yeah, yeah absolutely <laughs> Uh, but we're trying to do all different kinds of new stuff, you know. Uh, my boss is even talking about building a back patio out there on the oh, back. Too. You got some little room for it? You got yeah, some, yeah. I mean, it's, it's actually, already a little weird alley anyway. It's not even an alley <laughs> anymore because Cargill built that big alley right there behind it. So it's oh, not true, even true, an actual alley because well, it blocks it off. It's still city easement because of the fucking, all not the utilities anymore. are there. Not, not anymore, just that little part. Yeah, just they that sewer, that sewer is get, there still. We get it zoned. And we can have a 10 by 10 back there. That'd be nice. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you guys got a somewhat of a little patio. It'd be nice to put a little actual yeah, full patio exactly. back there. Exactly. Yeah. Well, and then you can kind of conjoin the two businesses together yeah. a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you get a little unity between both of the businesses is nice. So, yeah. so, so are there websites that we can check out the new menu? Maybe check out an event schedule? Yeah, so and and our, make sure you check we'll, all this we'll, in the description yeah, we'll, of the show. We, we can link well. that for you. Our website currently right now for Forge ICT is under construction. Oh, underconstruction.org uh, yeah. or yeah, I will tell you right, I will tell you right now <laughs> but before I forget get down talk with our um, talk with our Annie downstairs yeah, she's talk great with Annie, man. She's a great she's website awesome builder guy. down there excellent she yeah, won't kill you my other guy's dragging his feet you know if so. you're having trouble just, we got someone downstairs to help you out excellent and then uh I don't think Peerless actually has a website. Well, there's another person. You know, but we use our Facebook. Andy can fix that too. Do now. I'm telling you right now, she's she's working on our website and she's doing a great job. So I I would highly recommend her. Other than that, just use our Facebook. Follow us on there. We're always constantly posting and whatnot and creating events and things like that. You can also Peerless does have a phone, but I no one knows where it's at. (laughs) (laughs) So call the porch if you need anything from Peerless. Call call the the porch or just just come come in and get a drink. Yeah, Yeah. just come in. I've seen it. Bring your own. Bring your own ping pong bottle and come on in. I'm loving the new menu. If if these are new options, these are all great. Yeah. Um, that sauce on those are just killer. Dude, I liked everything. Uh, I, there yeah. was nothing. I'm just, I'm just waiting for y'all yeah, to leave. So the the meatloaf is fire. Yeah, I didn't want to stuff my face on, on camera too much. but uh, oh, This is just yeah. the stuff that's easy to take from here to there. Yeah, but like, I really enjoyed that soup you gave me the other day, too. That, uh, was that the uh, Tuscan yeah, soup? Yeah, that Tuscan whatnot? soup yeah. was goddamn mm-hmm. delicious. Thank yeah. you for that, sir. We're always going to have a soup changing out every day. Or nice. like that soup du jour or whatnot. But we have a lot of items on there that were just kind of too hard to travel from here to there. You know, yep. so. Well, you killed it. Everything you brought was yeah, man, on was temperature amazing. even still. So, I mean, I really appreciate awesome. it. Awesome. So make sure you get out and check uh, two great places. you got a bar. you got a great restaurant right next to each other. You can get food at one from the other one till till they close. And then after that, you're, you know, you're stuck with them. And if you're needing staffing, check out Lunar. Yeah. And uh, watch Metaseed. I'm expecting great things out of yeah, Metaseed. Really cool. Really cool Yeah, idea this is going to be cool. And, and, and make sure you get off uh, to March 2nd. For the for the for the bird show, absolutely. Yeah, and stay tuned to Aaron and Austin. Like and subscribe, like always. That helps us out a bunch. Invite all your friends to love us. Yep. And uh, cheers. cheers, everybody. Cheers. What, what, Dude, how this, much fun? This goddamn drink is amazing. Yeah. Let's smoke weed now. Allegedly.